What's up guys, welcome to our channel eTechnies. In this video, we will talk about Microsoft error which says Microsoft Office updating Office, please wait a moment. If you are facing this error, then you are on the right place and we have added all the important points in this video from basic to advanced so that you can fix the Microsoft Office updating please wait error on your PC. And along with that, I want you to watch the complete video before you opt for any of the step given in this video. So stay tuned and watch the complete video. Without wasting further time, let's talk about the methods. Method 1. Control Panel or to fix this error, first you have to fix it or we can say you have to repair it from control panel. Click on the windows icon or either you can type in here control. You'll see this option click on open. In view by you have to select category. If you have large icons or small icons then select category and click uninstall a program. Once you'll be on this page select the Microsoft Office and click on change here you have to click on yes as you can see it says how would you like to repair your office program you have to select quick repair which fixes most issue quickly without the need for an internet connection so click on repair and again click on repair and it is start repairing the microsoft office as you can see, it's gonna take some time, so you have to wait until it's repair itself. Meanwhile, it's repairing itself, I like to tell you a few more things. I read the information on a lot of tech forum and come to know 30% of the majority suggested this option and the rest of the majority suggested method 2, method 3 and method 4 that those are the method which fix their problem. So that's why I suggested you to watch the complete video if this option not gonna help you out to fix the problem then the other method will help you to fix your error once it's done click on close and afterwards try to open the application of Microsoft let me try to open Excel it's coming up properly method 2 system configuration for to open the system configuration you can click on Windows icon and type system configuration or either you can type in the search box here you have to remember you have to select system configuration not system information click on system configuration and you'll see this window comes up in here click on services tab click on hide all microsoft services and disable all of the services from here so once you'll click on disable all all of the application gonna disable as I'm not disabling this option because this shows the status in running. Click on apply and OK. And it asks you to restart your PC. Just click on restart and afterward try to open any of the application of Microsoft. Method 3. Restart services. For to restart the services, click on windows icon. Type in here task manager. As you can see the task manager click on open you can open the task manager by doing a right click in here and you will get this task manager in here once you have the task manager click on services and search for the services with the name of click to run services in here as you can see click to run SVC this is the service you have to search which says Microsoft Office click to run services as it's running in my PC that's why my office coming up properly but if this service is stopped on your PC that means you have to run the services after running the services try to open the application and check if this help now let's talk about the method 4 which is CMD commands here you have to open the CMD command along with administrator permission for to open the CMD click on windows icon and type in here CMD and here select run as administrator click on yes to user account control and you'll see command prompt as administrator showing up let me open the commands as you can see the code 1 and code 2 
both of them listed in the description. So copy the code 1 and paste it in here and press enter. This might take some time as it's installing some DLL files on your PC. Once it will be done, you have to copy this and paste it in the CMD. As you can see, it's showing me Windows feature. An app on your PC need to be following Windows feature, direct play, all of these things installing on your PC. I like to show you what are the files gonna be installed and what are the message I'll get when I run this command. Alright, the first command is done. Now let's go with the second one. So this command is related to the services which we want to be installed on our PC which related to reg rvr32.exe on tech forum very few user updated the information that method 4 helped them to fix the problem so i suggest you to opt for the method 1 method 2 method 3 before you opt for method 4 now let me paste the code 2 once it's pasted in here press enter as you can see it's installing dll files in my pc it's gonna take some time so be with me Here I like to tell you kindly watch complete video so that you can understand what are the things this code install on our PC when we are running these codes or we can say commands on command prompt. You can see Xbox DLL file installed x3d audio1 underscore 7 DLL. So it's install.dll database services on your PC. So that's all for today. If any of the method helped you to fix the problem, then click on subscribe button, select all to the bell notification, give a thumbs up if you like this video and leave your feedback in the comment section that which method helped you to fix the problem so that we can help the other users who are facing this problem. And do not forget to share this video on social networking. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.